Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to another budget video. This is our personal budget from February. Uh, just a recap. Um, a lot happened in February. Uh, I mean you'll see when we get into it now, but we have a Israel trip coming in April and so we've been kind of like prepping for it a little bit. Um, and we made a couple big purchases, so yeah. But anyway, you'll see when we get into here. Um, I did block out, um, because I messed up and I was kind of lazy, so I just decided to block out, um, the amounts because I added it up wrong, but I'll show you the end sheet where it's correct, so. Um, as you can see, I didn't use a calendar this time. I thought it was kind of useless last time, so I just gave up on it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, so, yeah, I just blocked these out because I added up stuff wrong, and so you can ignore, like, these as well. The envelope, like, bill total is correct, but the adding up stuff is wrong, so just gonna ignore that. Um, because I messed up on how much we actually made and whatever, but anyway. So, all the regular bills we started out with, Hydro came at 146.93, which was lower than what we budgeted, so... Good job for us, that's exciting. Internet was only at 169 this time, we didn't have that huge bill like last time. Car insurance, 123.66. Phones, 165. Anya, um, this is actually wrong. We did spend um, this plus uh, 146 and then plus 45 as well, so um, a little bit more than 275. West, we only spent 25. Medical 100, Crunchyroll 839, Game Pass 1903, uh, two Disney Pluses, uh, $26 total, Netflix 2127, and Adobe CC at 74. Gas, we did spend 100 this time. Groceries, we only spent 78034, so we were under our grocery budget, which was amazing again, so happy about that. Um, all of our sinking funds, like normal, these are our yearly expenses. Amazon Prime, six fifty eight. PSN, six sixty seven. dollars uh, Vet, twenty five. dollars uh, The domain name, which is coming out in March this year, so we have enough saved up in there. Two fifty. dollars Drivers, three forty three. dollars And Visa fee at $10. Excuse me. Our car loan, like normal, $291.32. My loan, three seventy. Daniel's interest was only ninety eighty this time. My bank fee at six, and that was that. So if we go over here, so during this time, um, I actually caught COVID, uh, unfortunately, and I was out of work for a while. So I had received the Canada Sickness Benefit, which is the thing here in Canada, because um, I was out of work for two weeks. Um, and then we also got an MPI rebate. MPI is a uh, public insurance for cars in uh, Manitoba. And Manitoba public insurance, like we have private insurance now, which isn't a thing in Manitoba. But Manitoba's public insurance, MPI, they were giving out rebates and we didn't expect to get anything. But I guess this was coming from like 2020 or something like that. So we actually did get a check. Um, so we had that extra money, which was great. Um, then we got some insurance money. This is where I, like, added up wrong. So we got the, um, Canada revenue benefit, like, from the sickness benefit. We got the MPI rebate check. We got an insurance rebate. Um, and then Daniel's paycheck plus a little bit on mine because I was missing, uh, quite a bit from COVID. I only ended up working one day, uh, in the second week. And then I had tried to go back, if you guys remember from my vlogs, I had tried to go back to work one of the other days and I ended up staying for a couple hours but I just I couldn't do it so I went home um, so we had that money as well um, and then the rest yeah I wasn't there so anyway but yeah so this month for March our rent is 1805 but next month like when I do March's recap um, this is gonna be going up by only 200 um, we had two parking spaces, and I guess one of the parking spaces was like $100 or something. So we're like, okay, we don't need two parking spaces, so we got rid of one. Um, and so that brought it down by 100 so now we only have to pay $200 more. 
which is great. So this is only going to be two thousand and five dollars. Uh, thank goodness. Um, but we still have to budget for it, which is unfortunate. So you'll see it in uh, next recap because April rent is the one we have to pay uh, the two hundred dollars more. So that kind of sucks. But anyway. Toastmasters, that's actually a thing for Daniel. It's like um, a public speaking group, like where they learn how to public speak and stuff. He really wanted to do something, so, or do that, so he um, he's doing that now. And this is for, I think, until like September or something. So, yeah, it was only $160. Um, TurboTax, we got our taxes done, so we had to pay $57.73 for that. Um, we bought a treadmill. <laughs> This is the biggest expense we had this month. Um, we bought a treadmill because Daniel wanted to start running too. Um, I wanted to do some running, so for marathon training and stuff, I'm doing just my short runs on the treadmill and then I'm going like outside or to the field house, depending on how cold it is, to do my long run. Um, so the treadmill is good for short runs. So we spent $1,049.99 on that. Also, we're treadmill training our dog Anya because it's, we again, we for those of you who don't know, we live in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. It is very, very cold here. It's been a very long winter and our dog is 10 years old. She has arthritis and she doesn't really walk that much anymore. Like she'll do like 10 to 20 minute walks at a time, like tops. So we're treadmill training her and so she can do like walks inside because it's sometimes too cold outside for her. Um, so, yeah, so all three of us are going to be using the treadmill, so we're like, okay, let's just bite the bullet, we'll do it, and then, yeah. Um, PCR, so that came to $264, so again, I had COVID, um, and because we're traveling to Israel in April, like next month, I was trying to get a test, unfortunately they weren't testing during while I had symptoms and stuff, which really sucks because I was looking to get a positive test because then if I had a positive test then I would have been exempt from all the testing at the airports and stuff because sometimes with COVID it can last in your system for a long time. Um, and so you don't want to get like a positive even though you're recovered from COVID at an airport and stuff. So, um, and also another thing, um, the health system here does not test for COVID or do testing like that for COVID if you're traveling internationally. Like this is a cost you have to fork over yourself if you're going to be traveling. Um, so that's something you have to know about. Um, so yeah, so I had to pay for a private PCR test from a private lab here. Thankfully we have a few of those here so I was very, very, very thankful for that. Um, yeah, it's very expensive here in Israel. The PCR tests are a lot cheaper. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, uh, I had to pay for one. I was hoping for a false, or for not a false positive, hoping for a positive so that I could be exempt from all the other testing. But unfortunately, I tested negative. I mean, that not unfortunately. I shouldn't say that. That's a really good thing because, um, you know, COVID really sucked. And I definitely don't wish it on anyone, but... I just would have liked to have saved some money come for our trip, but it's okay. We can pay for it and everything, so, um, the whole, maybe I'll talk about it in my vlog a little bit, but the whole, um, PCR testing is different for me going to Israel versus Daniel going to Israel and Daniel's family because technically Daniel is going home because he's an Israeli citizen, right? Um, but I'm going there as a Canadian, so there's different requirements, just like how if you come back to Canada, um, you don't have to do a PCR test coming back to Canada, you only have to do the rapid testing. Um, so same, it's kind of weird. I'll talk about it later anyway. This is going to get too long if I go on that tangent. Um, our car, <laughs> I talked about this in a vlog too, our car tire went flat. I was really upset about it, and then it was sucky because the battery didn't start, like, we had to take the battery out, come warm it up, and, like, it was just this whole deal. Thankfully, that tire only costed, like, $45 to, like, fix. So thankful. Um, so we did have enough money in our car savings 
Um, and we also got an oil change at the same time, uh, which was like 130 or something like that. So, uh, we spent almost 200 there. Clothing. So clothing, this is between Daniel and I. We bought some new clothes for our Israel trip as well, because I personally don't have, I didn't really have any clothes that would be good for a hot desert. <laughs> Um, and plus I've also gained a little bit of weight, so I don't have any clothes that really fit me properly, too, because, like, I talked about this in the vlog, too, but, like, I come home, I put my pajamas on, and then I go to work, and I put my work clothes on, and that's it. I don't really wear anything else, um, because I don't really go out. Um, so anyway, we bought some new clothes, so we spent $617.10 on clothing there. Um, our activity budget, we did go a little bit over at 108.29, so not bad. Um, our household, uh, I bought a bunch of bins and stuff for organizing, which I'll have to do that in a vlog yet uh, at some point, but that was 276.05. Um, if we go up here, this is all our savings like normal. Our RRSP and TFSA for Daniel was 130. Um, then we put 120 in my TFSA, car maintenance, 80. Gifts 50, haircut 30, pets 20, work 30, and travel 300. Um, yeah. And then Paybrite 2904, that's for my phone. Super secret, so that goes into an investment account. Um, I should clarify this because I imagine I do have some family that watches these, and I gotta tell you, this is not for a wedding. If anybody is like, thinking that in the back of their mind, it's not for a wedding, it's for something else that we kind of might want to do, but we're still unsure. So, not a wedding, <laughs> just so you know. It goes into an investment account right now, unfortunately the stocks are, the market's really bad right now, so we've lost a little bit of money, we're waiting for it to like go back up. Um, but anyway, 200 into our investment account, and 488 into our emergency. Now you'll see on our recap, because we definitely overspent more than what we made this month, however we used savings to offset some of these costs, like PCR testing was from our travel fund, because it was for travel, um, car was from our car fund, we did take out from our emergency and stuff to pay for a few things, um, however we're getting our income tax back this month, and so we'll be putting it back into there um, and then using our income tax for our Israel trip so yeah like the rest of the Israel trip um, let me just find here I didn't use any of the expense trackers this month I just found like it was not really needed so okay here's all my budget categories so you can see here this is correct now um, our earned income was 65, 60, 90. Our other income um, from the insurances and all the other stuff um, was 13.88. Savings that we did use was 979 dollars and 87 cents. So the total inflow that we had was 8928 dollars and 77 cents. So going off of that, our rent was 18.05. That was 20 percent of our income. Subscriptions was at 150.33 at 1.7% of our income. Car 503.47, which was 5.6%, which was kind of up, I think. I don't know. I got the recap page, but I don't know. The car situation, I know Daniel and I, well, my last budget video, like, I mean, I've been going over maybe we're going to buy a condo this year instead, but now we're kind of flipping to something else. Um,. We're talking about maybe just getting rid of the car totally. Because to be honest, again, we live in Yellowknife. We live a 10 minute walk away from work. So we're thinking about just getting bikes and just biking. Um, I know we have Anya and stuff, but um, if we need anything, we could just rent a car. We can bring groceries home on our bikes just fine if we just purchase like what we need day to day, basically. Um, we were thinking about getting a little like trailer because Anya again has arthritis she can't walk that far so if she needs to get a nail trim they actually have like a pet taxi here which is pretty cool 
Um, so looking into that, or we were thinking about getting her one of those little bike trailers that you guys see little kids go in. They actually have them for pets as well. Um, so we could put Anya in one of those. I don't know. It's something we're toying around with because then it would just wipe our car loan completely and then we would save a lot of money per month. So we could just throw that at, um, throw that at our other debt, basically. It's something we're thinking about. Still kind of unsure, but thinking about it. So, yeah. Anyway. Pets, we spent $387, which was 4.3% of our income. Medical, $100 at $1.1. Yearly expenses at $29.18, which was 0.3%. Savings, $938 at $10.5. Sinking funds, $480 at $5.4. Um, debt at $787.16, $8.8. Groceries, $780, $34 at $8.7. Miscellaneous was really high, 23.74.87 at 26.6%. That's really high and not normal, so yeah. Utilities at 480.93, which was 5.4. Activities at 108.29 at 1.2% of our income, so pretty good. Here's our debt um, payoff thing, which you guys saw last time. Um, debt, we had 787.16, not as much as I would have liked. We didn't put anything extra into my loan this month just because we had our other expenses. Um, but hopefully next month, or this month I guess, March, technically, we'll go back to normal. Um, yeah, so here's just a breakdown. Um, again, 9.38, breakdown. And then, last page. So... Um, the total change uh, from last month was seventeen ninety five eighty six positive, like we had that extra this month. So you can see here from January what we um, what we spent versus February. So like obviously rent was more of our income last month because we didn't use any savings or anything like that. Um, Subscription stayed roughly the same. Car obviously higher. Pets a little bit higher this month, but we did buy the food this month, so that was the change. Uh, medical, the same. Yearly expenses, the same. Savings, almost the same. A little bit higher, but again, we used savings to pay for other things. So, yeah. Sinking funds, a little bit less. Debt, less. Groceries, less. Miscellaneous, way higher, 26.6. Utilities lower. Great, that's awesome. Um, activities, a little bit higher, but it wasn't, like, bad. And, yeah, that's it, guys. I don't use the meal plan or the cash stuff or anything like that. So, yeah, that is it for this month. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and, yeah, let me know if you guys like these videos. Like, I can totally, um, What's the word? <laughs> Let me know basically what you guys think of them and if you guys like seeing them because like I can stop doing them if nobody's really interested or anything like that. But yeah, I hope it helped. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video which might be a vlog. I'm not sure yet. Daniel and I are thinking of going to the ice castle, the Snow King's castle today. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!